What's up, guys? It's Colin or Devil Rooster 77 here, and I'm here today with. What's up, guys? This is Harrison. How y'all doing? It's been a while since I've been here. It's been, here. A, it's been a really while, a long while. It's actually, you know, what the last video was what? It was the um, Trials Evolution okay. back in the that, summer. That was a while ago, in fact. That was uh, the day after we went to the the. Oh, the pool. No, no, no. The golf. Oh. The golf course. Oh, uh, well, we did the air hockey, the air hockey video. Mini putt, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, you. guys, that was pretty much our intro. Yeah, um, so, all right, we can just kind of start flipping it back and forth. By the way, guys, this is little. video number... 99. Number 99. Oh, I just let out like a string of parts right there. Nice. I had to. Um, Harrison, what are we doing today? Today, we're talking about college football, our favorite topic in the world. Yes. All right. Um, we are going to be talking about week seven. Is it yeah. week seven? It'll be week six, I think. No, 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 week seven. Yeah, week seven. Oh, yeah, it'll be coming up week seven. Yeah. It would. Last week was week six, and then, all right, so we got this figured out now. All right, so. That's a nice car. Um, <laughs> week six. Oh, right. no, we, yeah, we were talking week seven. Week seven, we're going to be talking about our teams and. And maybe a few others if maybe they, few others. we feel like there's. All anyway. right, so let's start with you. Notre Dame FSU. That's a, uh, that's a big game for you. <laughs> it's a really big game. Um, I'm, I would declare that winner of that is going to go undefeated and go to the playoff. Yeah. I would. But what place would we be? I um, think. I think either two. I think probably, probably two. two because. Because Mississippi State. Mississippi and State Ole and Ole Miss. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be a big one. Yeah. So, but all right. So. But uh, I think if. Florida State wins, they're not going to pass Mississippi State. No, they will not because Mississippi gonna, State is just kind of killing it right now. We're kind of so. getting the shadow. We can't oh, okay. oh, there we go. All right. As long as they can see, that's good. Yeah. So. I'm just going to go like this. Um, so, all right. So what's your what's your prediction for the game? For Florida State and Notre Dame? Yeah. I mean, I can't really say against my Obviously, team. Obviously, you can't pick so against yourself. So my prediction, you saw my prediction, right? I, I did see your 31 prediction. 31 to 26. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking for, that's actually a pretty good prediction, too. Florida State is going to be down. Like, we're going to do pretty well in the first quarter, and they're going to be down pretty much the whole game. Okay. And then they're going to come back a little bit, but they're going to miss the two-point conversion. Oh, uh, I got you. I got you. All right. I'm picking a little against you. I'm sorry. I kind of have to just yeah, because. Yeah, I know. Cause it's Florida State. It's not that it's Notre Dame. It's that it's it's Florida State. They've got all the momentum on their side. They're playing in Tallahassee. It's game day. It's going to be a huge game huge for day. them. I'm calling. Final score is going to be 35 to 34 uh notre dame is gonna be really close notre dame's gonna end up somehow ha missing a field goal in there or having it blocked or something's gonna happen but i'm predicting still two interceptions by Jameis winston and i get the feeling everett golson's gonna fumble it at least once well i think Jameis is gonna get picked off twice i think Jameis winston's gonna get picked off twice by the notre dame defense yeah but florida state's still gonna pull it off i think that could be a reasonable thing to happen, yeah. I don't. I'm never gonna say my team's gonna lose because that's not yeah. something to do. But um, let's move on to. Um, All right, next. Ole Miss, Ole Miss Tennessee. Um, Hotty toddy. I would say I've seen Tennessee play, and how they've almost beaten some teams mm -hmm. like Georgia. Yeah. I don't think they almost. Do they play LSU this year yet? Uh, no, they've not. No. Yet. Okay. Well, I saw them play uh, Georgia really close yeah. game. Um, but it was. I think their offense is um, better. Than what it was in the past few years. Yeah. So I think that's the only problem Ole Miss will have. But okay. I'm thinking still Ole Miss on top. Yeah. Um, 41 to 16. Okay. Uh, I like it. You know, Tennessee. I I'll will admit. It. Yeah, sure. Just I'll admit Tennessee does have a uh, a very good defense. I mean, like the shadow here. Yeah. Just yeah. Try and find it. There we go. All right. So uh, I'll admit Tennessee does have a fairly well planned defense. They've got a good quarterback. He can make plays, but he's a little sloppy out there. And their defense is just not making it right now. Ole Miss's no. defense is on top. They are killing it. Uh, Bo Wallace is doing very well this year, beating Alabama for the first time since Eli was there. And so uh, I'm liking the prediction. I'm thinking Ole Miss cruises to a very good win. I'm thinking probably 45. I'm going to say to 21. I'll give them three touchdowns. I don't think they will score three touchdowns. I won't either, but that. uh aim high, hit low. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so that's pretty much our week seven prediction for our teams. Yeah. Let's do a quick um, lightning, lightning round uh, week seven. 
Um, let's think of games. TCU versus Oklahoma State. Uh, I've I'm got a, TCU in it. I've got TCU um, with a close Oklahoma State game. I think it's going to finish out um, 38 to okay. 24. Pause. Yeah, sure, probably. All right. All right. Let's get to a place where we can see each other. All right, there we go. Um, so, and then... Uh, anyways, I'm thinking TCU wins... Base. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking TCU wins by 14 in this. Yeah, I'm thinking... Um, I'm thinking 28-14. All right, that'd be cool. And a final yeah. score. So. And um, let's see who else is playing. Um, um, I already said that. I said it's like. Um, not really many big games this week besides. The um, I think Oklahoma. Oh was, wait. Um. Uh, who's is that playing? This week or is that it's either this week or next week is uh, Alabama Mississippi State. No, that's next week. I think that's next week though. Yeah, because Mississippi State has the bye week. Yeah. All right, so next so then, week is going to be a big game. Yes, and let's go back. We're going to go back in time to week one. Week one to your prediction. Colin, what was your prediction for Notre Dame and Ole Miss on the season? On the season. Or, um, uh, about halfway through the season. At this point, what were you thinking they were going to be? Back in, what, August? You're yeah. Saying? Back in August, I thought – I didn't really think anything about Florida State because I haven't seen Ever Golson play since 2012. Yeah. So I couldn't say anything before the game of week one. Yeah. Um. I mean, I would have said eleven and one probably in their name. Okay. Before week one. Yeah. Ole Miss, I never really thought about. It. I would have said they would have lost to Alabama. Mm-hmm. I didn't know about Kenny Hill at the point, so yeah. really I would think they would go either eleven and one or ten and two. Yeah. So understandable. Go I'm gonna admit my uh my Notre Dame predictions were not the best. I was expecting the loss. I'm expecting the loss to FSU, obviously. I was as well expecting the losses to uh, Stanford and, USC. and to USC. USC turned out to be eh, not so well. <laughs> they lost to Boston College. They beat Stanford. Yeah. They lost so to it was. State. They've had a twerky year. So uh, my prediction, though, was probably two or three losses, maybe a squeeze out victory, and possibly Obviously. a pretty good bowl bid. Ole Miss, I was really thinking, you know, 11 and 1. I was thinking we can beat everyone but we're gonna lose to Bama I hated to say it but I saw it happening then when the interception came I was ecstatic I was like dude they're gonna go 15 and 0 at the end of the season I'm thinking they're gonna go all the way to playoff they're gonna win the entire thing yeah 15 15 and 0. yeah they'll have to division, games. division. So they'll go 12 and 0 then they'll play 13 in the championship 14 in round one 15 will be round two yeah that'll be yeah. To go 15 and 0 would be pretty ecstatic. That'd be pretty cool. That would. Um, so, what was video. our what? We're gonna have to stop it at the end. Oh, right. what are the proje- we're gonna be talking about the projections at the beginning of the season and now? Okay. All right. So at the beginning of the season, what do you think of the top four? Top four at the beginning of the season were who? FSU, Oklahoma. No, no. Who do you think it was going to be? Oh, I thought it was gonna be Ole Miss, Florida State. Uh, I was thinking Oklahoma, and I felt Auburn was going to somehow squeeze back into it. My predictions were Florida State. Um, I don't really have I think it was Florida State, Oklahoma, Auburn, and uh, Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Okay. okay. But, um, yeah. Yeah. I can see and that. now let's go to week seven, which we're right, right so now. All right, so now what, what are you thinking? I'm thinking um, Mississippi State is going to be first. Notre Dame is going to be number two. Number three is because uh, I'm thinking Mississippi State, or Mississippi is going to lose to Mississippi State. I'm thinking that. Okay. Uh, so Mississippi will be four. Three will be either, um, shoot, uh, Baylor. Yeah. Or um, FSU. I think either Baylor. No, no. I think either Baylor or uh, Auburn is going to squeeze that back in. Okay. Because um, three SEC teams in the playoff. Yeah, I'm thinking because FSU, if they lose today or tomorrow, yeah, they don't have the rest of the schedule. That's a good point. They do not have a good schedule after that. I can see that. My uh, prediction for the end of the season, I'm thinking Ole Miss. Oh yeah, I'm thinking Ole Miss, FSU. Um, I can see Mississippi State staying in it at number four. And then my number three, I'm gonna have to stick with, uh, I'm gonna stick with Baylor going all the way and just taking it to everybody. So, 
right, it's been yeah. a good walk. It's been a great walk. We're actually at my house now. Um, if you can see, I don't know if it's shadowed or not, but I did a uh, video of it. But anyway, guys, thank you guys all for watching this 10-minute sports update. Legit. Um, this is video number 99. Video number 100 will come tomorrow. All right. Peace because out, Because of, uh, it's also going to be my two-year, uh, making videos of two years of it. All right. It's um, the Florida State Nerd Name game and also um, me and Ashton's warm-up. So thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys all later. Peace, guys.